Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Uh, I got a good one for you today. Uh, we're going to get into the ladies, into the broads, Jessica McCaskill and Lauren Price. Um, and I got an interesting take on this one. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media, uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, also, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Really, really interesting lock of the week this week. Really interesting lock of the week. Uh, I want you to, guys, come join the Patreon. It's files a month. Okay, get to the lock of the week. Get your ass to bookie anything on handicap and fight. It's free T-shirt involved, guys. It's five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. I want you to see the lock this week. This is an interesting lock. This is one of my one of my favorite locks. And with the lock, we we always hit. It's it's a it's a three way parlay. I want you guys to come look at it. I think it's a, a really really interesting. It's, it's 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 a home run. I, I really like this week's parlay, and the odds are fantastic. Uh, also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all. Let's get into uh, Jessica McCaskill and uh, Lauren Price. I was texting with a friend of mine, UK Rob. Uh, my guys might know him on Twitter. I used to MCR podcast with him. Really good dude. Uh, but I was asking, I was talking to his, one of his fight, his, his kind of take on a fight, and he goes, Jessica McCaskill is, is terrible. Uh, and I said, all right, relax. He's like, no, she's terrible. I was like, she's not terrible. You go watch her last two fights, and, I, and I've rewatched a bunch of her tape. She's terrible now. You, you go back, you watch the Katie Taylor fight, you watch the uh, Brockett's fight, and you watch her now. Something is not right, you know. I don't know what exactly is wrong with Jessica McCaskill or me. Just put my coffee. Hang on. I I don't know what's wrong with with Jessica McCaskill, but she has regressed and declined. She's she's getting up there in age a little bit. I I never thought she was a 147. She's a a tiny girl. I I know she's 5'6". But she's a tiny girl. She's 39 years old. I'm 40. I'm just, I'm just pointing that out. Like she's not in her 20s anymore. The loss to Chantel Cameron was horrendous. The draw with Sandy Ryan was a travesty. She lost nearly every round in that fight. And I think one of the judges had her winning 97-93, which is a horrific scorecard. The 95-95 was a horrible scorecard. I like Jessica McCaskill. I root for her. I've interviewed her. Uh, we've talked the Bible together. She's good people, but she is completely shot. She's a good rhythm fighter. She gets in a rhythm. She throws a combination. She seems to be slowing down. Again, I don't know if it's the age. I I think she's carrying extra weight. I don't think she's ever been fighting at 147, even though if she did hold all the belts there, that's not her weight class. She's not a 147. She's a, a she's a little girl. I don't even think she walks around at 147. Um, she's little. She's not a real well to wait. Decent movement. She can make you miss a little bit. She's slow now. Like that's all like, you watch her, and and she's slow. She's not a great pure boxer. She's a little wide, a little wide, a little wild. She commits and, and she can throw hard shots. She, she's Rugged on the inside. She just seems to be regressing and she gets wild. And you see, she fatigues and she gasses. And when she does, she gets sloppy and she kind of just hauls shots. She loads up on things, but she's not a big hitter. Again, uh, she's fighting the wrong weight class. You see her getting sloppy and slow and wild. And like it's what she does well is. She, she can make you miss a little bit. She can get the inside. She can fire off her combinations. And she can do things like that. And she's, she's, you can see what made her good, but you can also see that, that has completely regressed. Completely. She, she can still fight against stationary targets, but if you're going to move, and unfortunately for her, Lauren Price is a mover, she's going to be in trouble. 
Laura Price is strong. She's physically bigger. She's built like a big well. Like I, I want you guys to think about this. Errol Spence is one forty-seven pounder. Think about that. That's how much. That's what a one forty-seven looks like. Terrence Crawford, Stan Yones, the big solid guy. Does McCaskill look like she's the same size as those guys? Think about that. Now, Lauren Price is big, strong, solid, slick, good head, good hand speed, excellent movement, great feet, nice straight punches, really nice left hook. Uh, re- re- really nice. Lead, she's got the lead hook. Her skills are just really sharp. She's hard to hit. She's moved. She fires in conversation. I'm not left hook. She's a southpaw. Right hook. She fires up the jab. The straight left hand. Like she, her, her shots are clean and crisp. She's also aggressive. Like she, she's a mover, and you can see the athleticism and the skill and the balance and her step. But she wants to come forward. She's a really, really good fighter. She's calm. She doesn't waste a lot of energy. She's just, she's high ring IQ. She's skills sharp. Strong, you know, once in a while she gets a little wide, but mostly she's calm and in control and she's doing what she wants. She's making you miss, making you miss lateral movement, lateral movement, then walk you down, fire off some shots. She's physically strong, she can push you around. She's really good. This is not going to go well for Jessica McCaskill. And I write, I like Jessica, Jessica McCaskill. If you ask me who I'm rooting for, I'm rooting for Jessica McCaskill, but this. She doesn't have a path to victory in this fight. It could get ugly. You know, typically, I, I think, well, let, let's take a look at the odds. Let's let's take a look at the odds here on this fight. Let me pull up the odds for y'all. We'll take a look together. Let's close out Denzel Bentley. That's the other video. Jessica McCaskill. The only thing I'm touching here, because this might be a stoppage. I, I think it could be such a one-sided fight that it could be a stoppage. And she's only got one stoppage, so I don't want to bet on that. I, it's not a terrible bet. Plus 800, it's really not a terrible bet. Um, but I'm not going to touch it because, she's, like I said, she's only got one stoppage in – Six pro fights, or seven pro fights. I feel comfortable making this a two times bet. Two times bet, two dollar bet makes you forty seven oh five. If you want to make half a bet, honestly, yeah, that's a better bet. That's a better bet. I'm not advising you to make this. It pays pretty nice, though. If, if she's a stopper, and I think there's a good chance that she could. No, not a great chance. Less than 50-50. Uh, but it's plus 1,200. Lauren Price wins by KO, TKO, DQ. I'm not going to put that in there. I'm just leaving it there for the for the risk takers. For the, for the lion-hearted. You're going to make $50 on this bet. <clears throat> she's going to win. You can make a little bet here. If you, if you put a $200 bet here for Lauren Price to win, you win 50 bucks, basically. You can put that back in here, and uh, Lauren Price at plus 1200 for the stoppage <coughs> makes you 600 bucks on a $50 bet. This is how we make money. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Yeah, link is in the description. Uh, $5 a month gets you the Lock of the Week. Lock of the Week. I love this Lock of the Week. If you're going to join, join the Patreon now. Get this Lock of the Week before Saturday. It's $5 a month. Guys, you're going to make a ton of money on this. I just showed you how to make a ton of money on, on this fight. Now, the lock of the week is going to make you a lot more than that. So join the Patreon. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing, to see you on YouTube. It is May 10th, 2024, from Texas to the world. 
Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.